Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back in garden with me Mitchell Juno Suede and welcome to the official first video after Hurricane Maria I'm using my camcorder and I decided that I'm gonna start to revamp the garden as you know Hurricane Maria basically flattened the garden the greenhouse have no greenhouse plastic I've rolled it up and it's under the house however the greenhouse is basically not as strong as before so I have to repair it before I can actually put the plastic and the other problem is the place where I bought the um, special four-way um, connectors um, the business place got damaged so I have to check to see when they're gonna start back and if they're gonna have any more so for the time being I have no official greenhouse it's just the frame the weak frame that's here so um, however in this video feature what I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you guys how to actually plant a turmeric in a pot I've done that video before however I'm literally gonna plant one turmeric this is a turmeric um, that was actually thrown in the compost um, after I planted all my turmeric I threw this one in the compost and I noticed that it started to grow when I was taking out some compost material to plant some other plants and I decided, you know what, I'm going to try one turmeric to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to plant this one turmeric, not this whole bit, because as you can see, this is a plant, this is a plant, separate, these are two plants. So I'm going to cut it right here to only plant that part here. And I'm going to plant it in this spot. So I'm going to see what will happen. If it's possible that this one turmeric, or at least this one turmeric that I can see, and to know if it will go and produce a lot more turmeric or is it just gonna produce one turmeric we're gonna test out that theory of course i'd like to thank you guys of course for subscribing to agro sweet back kid garden don't forget guys like us on facebook and also guys if you want me to actually react to a video which is about eye culture innovation eye culture recycling anything like that of course leave a comment below and i'll try my best to react to it thank you very much let's go ahead okay guys so this is a turmeric this could be a plant this could be a plant this could be a plant Everywhere it have a part that have a possibility of sprouting right there. This is another one right there. This could actually become a plant right there. So I'm going to try to break it off right here. I don't have a knife. Very, very orange as you can see. So we're going to plant this one. For the time being, I'm only seeing one potential leafy growth right there. Um, so I'm not quite sure if we'll sell out more. But I'm just going to plant this one small bit into this pot to see what will happen. And of course, you will see the results in the very far near future god's willing to see what will happen of course guys don't forget when you're planting turmeric ensure that your soil is very light you do not need any stones ensure your soil don't have any stones because you don't want to plant your turmeric against a stone and when it starts developing that it cannot open up and grow as freely as it as you want it to do now the good thing is that this is only one turmeric plant even if the pot is very kind of small but this is one turmeric plant so there's a possibility that it will do pretty well in there so we're just gonna plant it and the only thing about this plant right now compared to like let's say this piece right here this one already started to sprout as you can see so i have to plant it in such a way that i don't bury this or submerge this too deep under the soil like my decompose and what so i have to put in such a way that at least half of it can stay above the soil okay now i'm going to show you something else i discovered when i put um the turmeric in the compost i'll show you just now so just gonna put this not too deep but not too shallow so try to find somewhere where you know the roots can possibly go into and make a hole for the roots to just go in there right because you don't want to break it you really don't want to because this is the new roots and sometimes if you break it what will happen that the plant will then suffer so it can suffer if you break the roots so you want to try not to break the roots okay so here we go so as you see I left about half of it above the soil. What I will do, I will cover it with some coconut fiber because it has not been exposed to sun. So what you don't want, you don't want it to burn. So you just have to cover it up. And as the temperature starts to increase, it will eventually adapt. But because it's basically so fresh, it will not survive properly if you will expose it directly to the sun. There it is, quite simple how to actually grow a turmeric, a single turmeric in the pot of course. Now here's a turmeric that I want to show you. It's very interesting how it actually grew out in the compost material. 
as I told you, I had some extra turmeric, so I just added them to the, comp to the compost. Of course, don't worry, if it is that you throw a plant in your compost and it can grow, it will grow. It will not necessarily decompose. If you throw seeds in your compost, it will grow if it's meant to grow. If it has the quality or the um, environment for it to grow, it will grow. So, this is a mango seed, right? And ironically, what happened is that the mango seed was above the turmeric and there's a new turmeric, watch this growing you can see how white it is can you can you see how white it is and how basically untouched it is because it was going right in there in the compost like this i was marveled honestly so this is just interesting i just say let me show you this so this is the turmeric now of course this is a lesson that we can learn from um this video of course imagine just imagine for a while if this was like a tin or this was like a bottle this will never have decomposed and or the strength of the new turmeric would not have been able to overcome this now i noticed that they have not reached all the way to the top of the mango seed i noticed but most likely if it continued to go it would have pushed this off or this would have had time decompose but if it was a tin or cover plastic bottle or plastic cover then most likely that plant right there would have died it most likely would have died because this is organic and this have life most likely this would have most most likely penetrated through this or this would have had time decompose so that the turmeric plant can grow out now the other thing of course is that the turmeric this the turmeric and this mango seed was both submerged on the con or the compost material so that's why it did not push it off very quick then again it didn't reach to the top so i just wanted to show you this and to encourage you of course to practice composting you never know sometimes there's a a, a scrap material in your, in your kitchen and you might be thinking to yourself like you throw that in your normal garbage but go ahead and actually toss this in your compost bin also because you never know it might grow and germinate for you and then you'll get a new plant of course i'm gonna plant this somewhere else i just planted one in there but i'm gonna find somewhere new to plant these because they all they all were in the compost bin and i noticed that they were sprouting and i know you might be wondering how is that i end up throwing all this in the compost bin whereas i could plant it some Guess what? I did plant it some. Let me actually show it to you right now. Okay guys, hello. I hope that you can hear me. Well, this is what I planted. This is the turmeric. These are the same. Believe it or not. At the same time that I threw these into the compost was the same time that I planted those. And as you can see, this one still a bit icky bit small because it was submerged under the compost, very deep under the compost. However, it still had life. This one of course was planted with its usual half an inch or an inch deep into the soil so it's probably pretty well this is a very healthy bunch now i would like to encourage you one way or another by telling you please practice vermiculture this right here the material in there this material right here is pure decomposed material so basically i had some earthworms in here and i added some banana peeling dashing peeling and the worms that the earthworms they decompose and consume everything. All the bacteria help to break this down. So this right here is very, very light. So that means when it comes to harvesting, this will be very easy to harvest. Now, while it is that I was actually practicing vermiculture in this bin, when I decided to plant the turmeric plants in there, at the bottom right here is actually thick clay soil. I did it so that too much moisture will not escape because this material is so light, when you wet the uh, very light material of vermiculture, that means the moisture will very much escape very quickly. Not the moisture, but the heavy water will drain through quickly. It will keep moisture, it's able to retain moisture pretty well, but the water itself would have drained out quickly. So I put some clay soil at the bottom so that it will prevent too much moisture from escaping. Of course, I'd like to encourage you, of course, please try your best to grow your turmeric in your backyard garden. No matter how, try your best. Try to grow directly into the soil, ensure that your soil is light, remove all the stones in the soil. If you want to go to a container, you can actually go to a container. I have a lot in there, however, the soil is very light, so to grow pretty quick, it will expand properly. Of course, you could try to grow one turmeric in a pot as I did. If you want to wait for when I show you the results, you can wait and then we will see that it is very successful. Thank you, of course, for subscribing to AgroSweet Backyard Garden. Like us on Facebook, of course. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, guys. And remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And AgroSweet is out.
hard knock life Giving all your best but only to be criticized Despised, no longer fantasize Good cause your dreams have been jeopardized Want it done, you gotta do it yourself Every man to himself Your life is yours and no one else's At the end you've either done it right Or you've wasted your life You, use you, then turn around and desert you Let them know your plans and they try to reverse you The care these people ain't got no virtue They be tripping and flipping and this and all that you do Don't be tripping of them cause they be jealous of you They be wishing they could walk in your shoes Cinema. It's what the world is made of They can't reach your level so they try to bring you down to where they are But you are strong so you hold on To the top where you know that you belong what you want, you gotta do it yourself Every man to himself Your life is yours and no one 